and we experienced a that record. That was at the high end, for- uh, end of hey, his sir, r- r- respectfully, let me finish speaking. Uh, Trump was in office when COVID-19 picked up, and we experienced a 14.7% unemployment. Should we blame that on Trump? No, because that was at the end of his term. Okay, Not so if there's the things that happened under term. Trump's presidency that we shouldn't blame on him because we can't demonstrate how Trump caused it, well, then we shouldn't blame inflation or the higher pricing of goods on Biden unless you could demonstrate how Biden ca- uh, caused it. Because he hasn't done shit. That's how he caused it. He didn't control it. He didn't... Uh, make it go down so that's how he caused it you didn't make it go down that's that's insane yeah no he he has he passed the inflation reduction act you're saying that he doesn't had hasn't done shit he passed an act but i want to ask you a question name one policy that trump and his administration passed that made the life of the average working class american better shit i'm fucking i'm not a fucking politician no shit bro so then how do you know that trump is objectively going to be better for the world better for our nation better for the economy than biden because the world was better when he was in office. He was But you'd have to demonstrate how his administration caused the Chinese that. president. We had actual connections. And now we don't even trade with China or anything. So, Okay. Well, first of all, no, Trump wanted to increase uh, like very raised tariffs on China. He doesn't like them. He doesn't want to do trade with them. Um, and we, Biden also, you know, you know, the CHIPS Act brought jobs back home into America. But additionally here, you understand that you, you're telling me that you're voting for Trump because we had a better economy under Trump than Biden. But what I'm specifically asking you for here is, well, how do we know that if Trump's back in presidency, he's going to make the economy better, right? You're going to have to demonstrate how under his last term, he caused the economy to be better through the executive order or policy that he signed into law. You can't name the policy, you can't name the executive order, so you can't demonstrate to me how he caused the better economy. Yeah, I guess. So then how do you know know that he'll make it better again if you don't even know that he caused it to be better the first time around? Well, I'm still voting for him because anything like anything he does can be worse than what biden has done this term so <laughs> bullshit biden's not a grapist biden's not an election denier biden's not wait, a he's fraud. a hair sniffer he's a children oh. hair sniffer wait what's worse uh, what's worse sniffing your granddaughter or like telling your daughter that the only thing you have in common with her is sex meanwhile she said real estate and golf what's worse sniffing your granddaughter or literally graping a woman and committing 34 felonies well, I mean, dude, it's it's obviously clear what's wasn't worse. Trump in uh sent to court because he had uh classified documents at his estate. Okay, what are we pivoting to now? I, no, 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 wait, what I'm just asking. About? I'm just asking. Biden did the same thing, right? What? What? No, no, no. Biden's not a grapist. Okay. No. What? No one's talking about that. Wait, we literally were just talking about that. You said what's worse? Uh, you said that Trump. That you said that Biden is worse than Trump, and then you brought up the idea that Biden like sniffed his granddaughter. Okay, and then I was like, hey, what's worse, sniffing your granddaughter or graping a woman? All right, what's what's worse, shitting your pants on live and having the world see it, and having literally yeah, the, the, Kam- Kamala okay, Harris what, what back we, what away because here? he shit himself and he's like everybody knows. What, what, he's are, we, what are we doing here? Meb, no, this is, a, this, is a, this is this is a far right like conspiracy theory. This is what you guys got to do. Conspiracy theory. That's not a conspiracy theory. Then give me the facts. The facts is online videos. What are you talking about? Search there's it up. A, there's a video of of shit seeping down Biden's leg. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Go search it up, bro. Okay, it's not on the internet. I'm gonna be the first one to fill you in. Uh, here's my take. This is what you MAGA cultists do. Uh, you can't defend the policy MAGA of Trump. MAGA cultist. Yeah, yeah, one second, sir. Yes, you are indeed a MAGA cultist. You can't defend the policy of Trump. You can't defend the character of Trump. So all that you could do is pivot to Biden and say that he shit himself with no evidence. It's embarrassing. Almost every Hispanic and black person has told me that they would vote for Trump. Why is that? If he's such a racist. <laughs> yeah, I, wait, I have a question. What percentage of the black community is going to be voting for Trump in 2024? I don't know the exact, that's why I said mo- a very mo- small minority. And you want to know why that is? Because Trump decreased the, uh, the historically black, uh, the historically black university funding significantly. Biden increased it a lot. Biden has added, um, you know, uh, the most, uh, he, Biden has seen the, uh, the highest spike, uh, in, um, like, uh, like, uh, individual, like African-American entrepreneurs and small and, uh, like small businesses owned by African-Americans that we've ever seen ever. I uh, bet like ultimately speaking, um, you know, at least by, like Trump, for instance, has housing lawsuits for discriminated against uh, black individuals, et cetera. I mean, what are we talking about here? All right. Well, this is not nice talking to you then. I'm going to go. Wait, why, why, I mean, can you not engage with the facts here? I mean, let me ask you one last question, Kevin. Do you think that uh, Trump won the 2020 election? Well, obviously he's in office, so he did. No, he's actually not in office. Biden's in office. I'm asking Wait, you if oh, you the said election Trump? was rigged. Yeah. Oh, well, obviously you're gonna say, "Oh, can you prove that it was rigged?" But so I you do think, think that it was Trump rigged? Trump should have won that. 
Yeah, just to make sure, you think that the 2020 election was rigged? Well, I can't prove it, so. <laughs> but I think, I think anyway. it was rigged because there's literally uncounted ballots, so. Okay, so you can't prove it. How do you feel about Trump going over 16 courts? He, he tried that? to prove, he, Trump tried to prove to 60 courts that the election was rigged in Biden's favor. They all ruled against him. Not well, to mention he's the president. 17, he has the FBI under him, so. Okay, so Biden controlled the, the, the judges that Trump appointed to those courts. And then also, if like the president can control the FBI and the DOJ, do you think that Biden and his administration controlled the DOJ to convict his own son? Well, you obviously can't hide what his son did, so. Okay, so you think it did. Can you give me any evidence of Biden like persecuting a political opponent um, that fairly won the election? Well, he's too old for that. I don't I think he does anything. Out. It's mostly people that are in his party that's doing everything for him. Yeah, can you show me how Biden's administration uh, like rigged the 2020 election and then like use the DOJ and the FBI to like persecute uh, Trump? No, because I'm not. Yeah, because you know how facts, bro. Power to know everything. <laughs> Yeah, do you understand like what I'm saying here though? Like yeah, you I don't do. have any facts or evidence for the shit you're that Yeah, you're that's saying. what I'm saying. You, that... you can't show the, that the election was rigged. You can't show that Biden and, and his administration has used the DOJ or the FBI to persecute Trump unjustly. No, these are ways that you contort reality uh, insofar as fitting your narrative that the fucking chosen one isn't as bad of a guy as he actually is. Okay, like, but I it could... is so sad to see the level of delusion um, and the level of contortion that y'all have to do. Uh, in order for your narrative to be fed. Okay, but look, I could also ask you, how can you prove that it wasn't rigged? How can I prove that it wasn't rigged? Because yes. this is what the courts ruled. Um, the, we, we recounted the votes. We looked into the individual systems, right? The, the 60 courts proved that it wasn't rigged. I mean, what do you want me to say here? So you just believe everything you're told? No, I don't believe everything I'm told. I believe with due research, and the obvious conclusion here is, is that it's very unlikely that the election was rigged due to so the you're lack not of any evidence. Sure. Well, I'm not 100% sure that, like, that you exist, right? It's called skepticism, but what I'm saying is that we have a high degree of certainty. Okay. Well, that's all I want to know then. I know, but look at what you're doing. You're, you're trying to explain to me how is it, it is at least a possibility that it was rigged. But guess what? It's not a probability, and that's what all of you do. You exploit the possibilities. Sure, it is technically possible that the election was rigged in Biden's favor. However, it was a very small percentage chance that it was. And then you hop so on you can't that. call us delusional. And yes, I am, because it's because also- You just said there's a small possibility, so- Bro, just like there's a small possibility that a unicorn farted the universe into existence. All right. Like what, like what I'm saying here is, is it's technically possible, right? And what you do is you latch onto that and you exploit it and conflate it. Uh, but the difference is, is it look, is a possibility, look, not a probability. Look, this is why I think it's rigged. There, there's been so much times on live TV, CNN, all those news stations that have made Trump look unfit to be a president. Have you seen, have you seen that clip where- Trump is like, oh, it's hot in here. Watch, they're going to say that I'm sweating and I don't look all well. What happened after that? They said the exact same thing. Like, they do all this stuff just to make Trump look bad and make yep. him seem unfit. Both so sides do that. Rigged. Both, both sides do that. No, that is, it's called political propaganda. Both the Republicans and the Democrat do this. This is nothing new. Okay, so hence, uh, that's why I think it's rigged. Because if they're wait, what do you wait? Then what do you, that, wait, wait, you admit that the, the the RNC like rigged it for Trump to win because they posted similar shit about Biden? That's different though. That was actually that that's that's different. <laughs> no, no, like the clip that you're referring to, insofar as Biden quote unquote shit in his pants. If you watch the full thing, he's literally going to sit down on a chair. There's no chair behind him. What are you talking about? Dude, you could watch the full clip online. He sits back into a chair. No, it, I, I don't know what clip you're talking about, but the clip, there's no chair behind him. It's just him and Kamala Harris right next to him. And he just like squats down a little bit and then he just sits there like he's shitting. Bro, I'm and telling just start walking you, away from him. You could watch the entirety of the clip. He sits back into a chair. There's no chair. I'm telling you, there's no chair. Okay, can you pull up the clip and play it for me? Oh, uh, I don't even know how to do that. You can just search it up, though. I promise you'll find it if you just search it up. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm asking you to do the same thing for me right now. Well, I'm telling you, I don't know how to uh, screen share anything. Okay, yeah, that's fine. You don't know how to screen share. That's fine. Look, listen, my overwhelming point is, is that both sides of the aisle, Republican and Democrat, 
release political propaganda, taking shit that people say out of context to make them look bad. Uh, both sides of the aisle do this, and they always have. And it, are you are you seriously rejecting that? No, I know. Obviously, that's why there's debates. That's why there's all this to make. Uh, but that's different. Like that's whole CNN. That's a bunch of news stations just backing uh Biden and even like look even wait they wait I'm so sorry we we see Fox News and like uh like right leaning institutions and media back Trump they do the same thing that's just how it works everybody knows like, CNN spreads misinformation all the time wait and everyone knows Fox News uh, spreads misinformation all the time hey man I'll, I'm still voting Trump though like I don't think his obviously his character plays into how a president is but in in this case I don't think I don't think uh. That goes in with what Trump can do. Okay, so yeah, why are you voting for Trump? Because I want to. Okay, and yeah, I, I'm I, asking you for fit. reasons here. You, why do you think that Trump is better fit for office than Biden? Because do, I don't do, actually do, have any like. Do, 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 I'm just do, voting do, for him. Do, 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 do. Uh, so do you see? Do you see how like silly you are? So just to make sure you can't give me any reason here, right? You, you can't tell me why you want to vote for the convict. You can't tell me why you want to vote for the election denier. You can't tell me why you want to vote for the rapist. You can't tell me why you want to vote for the man that made the life of the average working class American harder by decreasing their after tax income and literally taking their money and giving it to the rich people. Uh, I mean, you want to vote for the man that has one of the lowest worldwide approval ratings in modern history out of all of our presidents. Like, dude, see, see what I mean? Like, you don't have the reasons. Uh, you, you just follow the mob mentality. You see what other people say and then you vote on that. Like... Um, and this is why it's so important to be an informed voter, because when you're not an informed voter, you end up requesting to Dean's life and getting embarrassed. So, I mean, do you have anything else like you want to go over? Here? Well, you should definitely put. Then someone you just have a lack of self awareness. If you don't feel like you got embarrassed, then you have a lack of self awareness, sir. No, I just don't. Obviously, you're biased towards Biden, so that's why I don't feel embarrassed. That's I'm just saying I'm voting for Trump, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. All right, I'm going to move on to the next guest because you don't have any reason. Appreciate you for coming up, Kevin. Uh, guys, if we're enjoying the stream, uh, you know, make sure that we're double tapping here. Also, if you want to support me, my Venmo as well as my Cash App are in the bio. You know, first day having the Cash App back in months. So yeah, oh, yeah. you want to shout out that's in the bio. Uh, we have 95 guest requests. That is crazy. Uh, guys, make sure that we're sharing out the live here though. Uh, what's up? How old are you? Hi, uh, I'm 19. Perfect. Are you, are you MAGA? I'm sorry? Are you MAGA? Mm, uh, no. Are you voting for Trump? Yes. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just start asking that. Uh, why so? Okay. Because he is intelligent and I think he's a great businessman. No, I do not like who, you know, he is as a person or anything like that, but, you know, okay. he's intelligent. So Trump has six bankruptcies. Can you name another great businessman with six bankruptcies? No. No. Okay. And then also is Bill Gates a good businessman? Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't Would know. Would you vote for Bill Gates? Uh, no, but uh, you okay. know, in, in the circumstances that we're seeing. So you're going to vote for one. Trump because he's a good businessman, apparently with six bankruptcies. Well, but then you also realize that Bill Gates is a better businessman, but you wouldn't vote for Bill Gates. Well, in that case, yes, then I guess. Yeah. Okay, Bill Gates, I, I feel, is, is, is more of a liberal than Joe Biden. Additionally here, you said that Trump is intelligent. Do intelligent men grape women? No, but here's the deal. <laughs> so he's either not an intelligent man or he didn't grape a woman. But guess what? He was found civilly liable, proven to have graped a woman. Uh, and he has definitely not We're been proven to be an intelligent as man. people not, you know, obviously. Look, I'm looking at it like this who is more fit here okay yes yeah, so we got we have two corpses going for president right now but the one who is in the head like he's there in the head and has facts and is intelligent that i mean it's from okay no no you need to answer my question then because i asked you if intelligent men grape women and you said no so this either means that trump is not an intelligent man or Trump didn't grape a woman. However, Trump was found civilly liable. It was proven that he graped a woman, and it has definitely not been proven. How long ago? Man. This was in 1996. 1996? Well, that is a long time ago. Uh, not, that, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Right. I don't care. I'm so sorry. 
I don't care. He graped a woman, point blank, period. You want to vote for a rapist? You want to vote for a felon? I'd uh, rather you, you wanna, vote for somebody who can... You want to vote one second. You, know, one second. you want to vote, for, you wanna vote for a proven rapist? You want to vote for a proven felon? You want to vote no, for an election denier? You want to vote for a man that doesn't stand for the American people, but rather stands for a political power? You want to vote for a man who what lied to million, one, one second, ma'am. Please let me finish. You want to vote for a man that lied to the entirety of the American people, causing tens of millions of individuals over the course of the last four years to have distrust in our civil and electoral processes threatening the state of our democracy for the reason that you think he's intelligent. No. Intelligent men do not grape women. Intelligent men do not say that they're going to date 10-year-old girls in 10 years. Intelligent men do not go on, uh, you know, do not go on, uh, on on a news station, CBS particularly, in 1997 and say that the only thing they have in common with their daughter is sex. Meanwhile, she said golf and real estate. These are not things that intelligent men do. But if you think that the man behind me is such an intelligent individual, answer my next question. Name one policy that him and his administration passed into law that benefited the average working class American, please. I'm not educated enough on that, but thank you. So then how do you know I, that he's good for our country? How do you know that he's good for the American people? Well, I mean, if you watched the debate last night, I mean, you could kind of tell who is more fit for the position. I mean. Yeah, you couldn't. It's Biden. I get it. He was stumbling. He was old. Uh, it was unfortunate. He really does not look that fit for the presidency, but at least he's more fit than Trump. Because while he was stumbling, you know, he looked very senile. He had to hold his wife's hand like walking down the two-inch steps. Biden. Uh, he Why? spoke about the facts. Okay, he spoke about he spoke about what he wants to do for the American people, and he demonstrated the good that he has done over the course of the last four years. I will take Biden over good? a criminal any day of the week all right because he's the lesser of two evils biden is a criminal oh yeah what was he convicted of um of course that shit's not gonna be out in the fucking media in the world <laughs> no he doesn't me? have any criminal convictions you're lying this is misinformation hmm. okay well i would i would move on to somebody who uh you know has more information than i do but that that is just you know my opinion um thank you okay i mean i have more questions if you want to stay here but if you want to leave no worries thank you uh, for the Anna I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to answer them so yeah just move on to the next person okay hey i appreciate you for coming up here and being respectful i apologize if i came off disrespectful no no you're fine Thank uh, have you. A, have a, of course, have a good rest of your day. We're, we're going to go to move on to our next guest, guys. If you're one of the 2.8 thousand people watching and you want to support me, my Venmo as well as my PayPal, sorry, my Cash App or my bio, it is quite literally the best way to support me. All right, I get 100% of the proceeds off those platforms. <laughs> he let me up. Dean, do you What's care if I really? message my buddies real quick and let them know that I'm on your live? Because they always tell me to get on, like if I get on so they can watch. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. That's fine. Just give me like give me like thirty seconds. Yeah. Yeah. In the meantime, guys, make sure that we're double tapping on that phone screen. Let's try to get up two hundred k likes. Also, we got two hundred shares. Make sure that we're sharing this out with a couple friends here. Ashley, thank you for the five dollars over Venmo. Queen of England served until ninety six. Uh. Yeah. She was awesome. Also, guys, if you're MAGA, make sure to let me know in the chat, y'all. Uh. I'm gonna start pulling from the chat. We just have so many guest requests. I'm back. Welcome back, bro. Are yeah. Are are you MAGA? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say MAGA. I'll probably vote for Trump. But all right, why so? You 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 said earlier that if something happened in 1996, that there's no statute of limitations on certain things, right? Wait, there's no statute of limitations on certain things, sure. Uh, but there was a statute of limitations on like uh, sexual abuse, and that's why he was charged I, civilly, not criminally. I guess my question would be how you defend uh, the openly racist comments that Biden has made in the past. Okay. Yeah. I mean, sure. Well, here's the thing. I mean, I think that Trump is, uh, is, is, is an open racist. I mean, he has had housing lawsuits against him uh, for unequally discriminating against like African Americans. And Biden definitely has made racist comments in his past. I condemn that. That's wrong. But at least he's come out and apologized since. Trump has never apologized for anything he's done. And when we're casting out a vote in November, we're, lo we're looking for the lesser of two evils. And it's obviously the case that that's going to be Biden. Yes, but you, Biden said in 19, him, Camilla Harris got on stage and testified against Biden for the things that he said in 1977 when he was in not he wasn't supporting desegregation and the busing incident. He said that he didn't want his kids to grow up in a racial jungle. Yeah, that's gross. The 1994 crime bill. He called he called the black community super predators. Oh, no, that was not Biden. That was Hillary Clinton. OK, well, he also said that. uh, uh forget don't don't want to quote me on this i'm trying to think of the exact quote was something to do with poor kids are just as capable as white kids 
Yeah, yeah, we understand that like all these comments are racist and all of these comments are gross. Like, listen, I'm not voting for Biden because I like him. I could never respect a man that has made those comments, but more like specifically for me personally, I could never respect a man that doesn't recognize the genocide in Gaza. Okay. I never could literally oh, never. Shoot. I'm voting for Biden because he is the lesser of two evils. Even when we're talking about racism, yes, Biden has made some terrible, deplorable comments in his past, but at least he has apologized for them since this is something that Trump has never done. You, we do understand that Trump has had uh, these, these civil lawsuits for housing discrimination because he he gave more opportunity for white people in comparison to black people. Even on the debate stage, he referenced African Americans as black with an S at the end. Okay. We have also recognized that he gave one of the lowest figures annually to historically black universities in comparison to both Obama and Biden. The decision is clear, sir. Yes, but I think I just find it incredibly hypocritical for you to set up here and defend one whenever the other one has made is equally as bad as comments of comments as what the other one has. I think instead, this is just my strict opinion. Wait, if when did I, I defend him, sir? I literally wait. I'm so sorry, Jalen and everyone watching the live like five seconds ago. Did I not just say that those comments are incredibly deplor deplorable and terrible? And I literally do not respect Biden and I'm not voting for him because I like him. I'm voting for him because he's lesser of two evils. Like, did I make this clear enough? Like, yes, I, I, I'm, I I'm not a Democrat, right? right? I am not riding for Biden a thousand percent. No, I'm voting for the lesser of two evils. Okay. But would, would it not? And, and I watch your live. I watch Parker's live. I watch Harry's live. You guys have a massive platform. And I, I got into someone else's live the other night and I was explaining this to him. Like, you guys could, you guys could, like, the, the, the people that you guys reach, like if there would be an option for a third party candidate that these two wouldn't have to be in office, you guys would have that platform to reach them people. But you guys use your platform to bash Trump and make Biden look like he's the better of two evils when in reality, they're both he definitely is. catastrophes okay. and disasters. Listen, listen, listen. So first of all, if I thought that it was feasible for a third party to win, I would absolutely be advocating for one. But unfortunately, it's not viable. And that's the end of story point blank period. What we need to do is we need to be pressuring our local representatives uh, to instantiate a system in which it is more viable to vote for a third party, such as uh, like uh, tier based uh, voting and then also rank based voting. Then additionally here, it's incredibly clear that Biden is the lesser of two evils, right? He's not a great business. He's not, a, he's not a convicted felon. He's not an election denier. He didn't persuade and mislead the American public. All right, he's also a man that comes through with the shit that he says, right? Trump is a despicable liar. He said he'd deliver on the infrastructure bill, never did. Um, he said that he drained the swamp, never did. I, I mean, it, time and time again, we see so many good reasons to vote for Biden over Trump, even in the context of the topic that you're bringing up right now, that being a racist pass. Yes, you did bring up racist comments that Biden has made. Um, but like I said, we could look at the housing uh, discrimination lawsuits against Trump. Uh, we could look at the fact that he has supported HBCUs much less than either Biden or Obama, not to mention here that Biden has come out and apologized for the racist comments that he's made in the past. Play me one clip of Trump apologizing for, for the housing discrimination. Play me one clip of Trump apologizing for any of the racist comments that he's made in the past. Hey, Dean, this, is where you, this is where you lose me though, because if Trump would come out and apologizing for essaying that girl, would that just automatically make it go away? Oh, absolutely not. Are you kidding exactly. me? So you're, are you saying, are you saying that racism doesn't hold a similar effect to people as what SA does? Wait, they definitely hold different effects because racism yes. is different than SA. Not but what I'm saying that. here is that regardless of Biden's apology, because I do understand that like, you know, saying something racist and then just apologizing doesn't really fix it. What I'm looking for is character improvement. And I feel like this is something that Biden has exemplarily shown, but I feel like this would be a valid critique if I was trying to justify Biden's racist comments in the past. But time and time again, I'm making it explicitly clear that that is not what I'm doing. And I cannot respect Biden for those reasons. But I am instead recognizing the lesser of two evils. Yes, I understand that. But then you, you, you say that. And then two seconds later, then you go, well, this is why I'm voting for him. I just I just me personally, I just don't. Can you I would love to hear a clip of Trump. I'm sure they're out there. I've just he has housing, bro. He has housing discrimination lawsuits against him for granting uh, like an equal yes, opportunity to black Americans in comparison to white Americans. Is that not racist? I'm asking if you would have the clip on the debate well. stage. He referred to the African American community as B L A C K S. Is that not racist? This dude. This was literally two days ago, on the debate stage. I'm asking you for a, like the to this standard of what see Biden had his vice president 
on a debate stage, call him out on his racist behavior. Okay, and now she's his vice president. So for me to set up here and like for you to say one is more racist. Wait, I have a question. If, if, his, if his vice president, Kamala Harris, did indeed call him out on his racist behavior, he did. but she yet called him she out on him still ran as his running mate, what does this show from her perspective? Does this show that Biden has changed and grown as a person, <laughs> no, 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 has no. recognized his bad past, apologized and been better? Political parties are, is what it shows. It Wait, shows, but no, no, no legitimately, I want you to explain this to me. I want, I want you to explain this to me, right? So do you think that Biden ha has changed as a person in, com in comparison to the racist beliefs that she's that he's held in the past? Well, since he's been in office and since are we, she's Do you been... want to talk about the Central Park Five as well when we're talking about Trump? I'm making a really good argument here, and I don't feel like you're responding to any of it. Here's oh, the bare bones. Tell me what I'm not responding to, please. Yeah, I'm going I'm to tell you the meat on the bones here. Uh, okay. You're right. Biden has a racist past. It's gross. It's wrong. It's icky, Okay. But the thing is, the thing is, he is still the lesser of two evils because while he has a racist past, so does Trump. Okay, That's where Trump has the civil uh, litigation against him for granting any equal opportunity to white people in housing in comparison to black people. Do we want to talk about the Central Park Five? Do we are, want to talk are, are about on the debate stage the three days ago saying BLACKS? Are you are you familiar? Can you explain that to to your chat? What what exactly the crime bill in the nineties entailed? Um, you, you probably know more mass about mass incarcerations of black people. Okay, um, yes. I, I'm not researched enough. And, and, and yeah, and, and explain this to your chat so they understand. I'm not. No, I'm not Biden researched enough on. I'm, so, so Jalen, 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 Jalen. I'm making it incredibly clear. Years, of, okay, years afterwards has led to years due, of, due to the bill's of, misapplication, of, of trials and tribulations for the African American community. Uh, due to the bill's misapplication, this is because of Biden in the '90s. Okay, dude, if, with all due respect, we're going in circles here. I continue to bring up the fact that I'm calling Biden the lesser of two evils, and I'm bringing up the civil litigation against Trump for granting unequal housing to white people in comparison to black people. I'm bringing up Central Park Five. I'm bringing up uh, calling the African-American community uh, BLACKS on the debate stage two days ago. Uh, I'm bringing up the fact that you're spreading misinformation. How? And that bill Tell was me, what am, I to... what, what am I spreading misinformation about? Explain. Yeah, the crime bill. It. So it wasn't written into the bill to disproportionately affect these marginalized what communities. Did the it was misapplied. What what happened because of that bill? What happened because of that bill was a disenfranchisement of the African American community <laughs> That's exactly because of what how I it was said. misapplied. That's exactly what I said. That bill was an absolute disaster, and Biden and, and, and which Biden has come out and apologized for. Can you show me? Wait one second. Can you show me Trump apologizing for the Central Park Five? Can you show me Trump apologizing doesn't make it go away. Okay, That's what I'm so so to you me. can't, you can't, you can't. That's what you're telling me. Admit it. Say that Biden has apologized uh, for. Um, you know, at least some of the things he's done in the past, while Trump has not apologized. For you have any of the things. Trump apologizes for essaying that woman in 1996. Does it go away? No, because it doesn't take the trauma. Exactly and pain my that point. You're contradicting. Wait, I have yourself. a question. Do you accept that civil? Do you, do you accept that? Do you accept that he raped a woman? Do you accept that civil conviction? I accept that he's held held uh, uh, legally responsible for it. Yes. Yeah. But do you think he did it? Do you think he raped Eugene Carroll? Well, I wasn't there. I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm assuming that the, the, the jury knew. What oh they yeah. Were so doing. look, look at you. I kind of feel like you're virtue signaling a little bit because no, now you're I, not I, even I saying that he raped I, the I, woman, I, but you're asking me if you apologize for it. Would that make it okay? But meanwhile, you don't even believe the civil, the civil conviction because you're too, uh, you're too deep in the MAGA cultist framework where you can't, where you just <laughs> no, ignore anything Dean, that doesn't fit your narrative here. Dean, I, when did I say I was MAGA? When did I say I was voting for Trump? See, you're getting triggered right now. That was now the first no thing reason. you said when you came on the live. You're why, why do you get triggered so easy? I'm not triggered. Are you now trying to detract from the legitimate conversation no, 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 no. about these characters because I'm dunking you on you? But question, now you have to you change the topic answer. to my character to detract from the good points that I'm Dean, making. You didn't let me. You didn't let me answer your question that you asked me. I you think you're triggered. You spoke over me. I said I trust that the jury was honest and fair with their with their assessment on Trump's situation. He is not. He was held, held legally responsible for what he did, and I did not say there was any corruption involved in his in his trial. So what's your point? Okay. Um, I have a good way of responding to your comments about Biden's racist past. Do you want to hear it? Oh, who did you have some buddies message you? <laughs> no. Um, so my laptop is over here. If I had okay. buddies message me, I'd be looking off to the left. I just looked off to the right. Okay. Well, I'm glad you educated yourself on them. So let's meet, let's hear what you, what you have to say on them now. Okay, I mean, look, look, this, assuming, assuming fringe conspiracy theories, the buddies messaged me. Crazy shit, guys. This is what they all do. So <laughs> any, anyways. No, 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 so, no. no. You, you're, you're putting okay, me in a category. I'm going to go, go and put you on mute. The, assuming the fringe conspiracies, I had a buddy message me. Yeah, he's so off topic, guys. It's all right. 
Anyways, the point is, is I think when we're going to be casting our vote in November, when we're specifically talking about racism, right, and like both Biden and Trump's past, we need to call that deplorable. But then we also need to be recognizing who's going to pose a threat to marginalized communities more so, Biden or Trump. Right. It is it was made incredibly clear on that debate stage that if, if the Congress were to propose a bill to federally ban abortion, federally ban contraceptives, that that is something that Trump would support. And that is something that Biden would veto. So if we want to talk about how these people may potentially disenfranchise the marginalized communities further, let's talk about the disenfranchisement that Trump will cause to the 170 million American worldwide. Do you want to talk about the rates of poverty, the rates of unemployment, the, the lower qualities of life that are associated with areas where we see restricted or no access? Access to abortion? Do you want to talk about the unready kids being born in, into the un into the unwanted sorry the unwanted kids that are going to be born into the unready homes that could be caused by contraceptive ban? No, this is crazy shit. Let's talk about the disenfranchisement of these marginalized communities, sir. And then if it was the case, right? That uh, like and then another question here, right? Once you can you you know once we can talk about the disenfranchisement of all the women in our country. Uh, something else I want to ask you about here is if it is the case that Biden was worse for the African-American community than Trump, then why is a minority of the African-American community voting for Trump? Dean, you just, you're making a wild point, and I want to point it out to your audience. You're making a wild point. You're saying that it's okay to be a little bit racist as long as you're not as racist as the other person. No, I'm not. Which I'm, is not. I'm not. I'm not. You're wild. straw manning. You're red herring me. Look at no, that. No, 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 no. That's not I got to cut you off there, bro. I have fucking I have made this so clear three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. Now, if you can't respond to the points, I'm going to go to move on to the next guest. What I've said time and time again is that I don't like Biden. I don't respect him. I think he has incredibly racist past, which is terrible. It's deplorable. It's sick. But he is still at the end of the day, the, the lesser of two evils. Like, how many times have I made this clear? Let me know in chat. For the 3,000 people watching, how many times have I made this clear? I will not allow the line on my name, the degradation of my character, because you can't beat me in a debate. It is embarrassing for you, and it just shows the contortion of reality that you have to engage with to try to win a debate. You are beyond, right, fucking virtue signaling right now, because I am making my point clear and then you are lying and making me look racist in order to try to beat me by saying that I'm okay with Biden's racist past? No, it is disgusting. It's deplorable. It's terrible. Do I need to say that again and again and again? How many times do I need to say that? You don't let me make a point. You talk over me, then you mute me like you do. I, 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 I did mute you there because you were lying to three no, no, you're thousand lying people to your about like me. You always do. What am I lying about to my audience? That that I'm 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 pointing out things that you have said. When did I say I'm that I'm okay with Biden's racist past? Said. When did I say that I'm okay By with Biden's racist? By voting for someone who is racist, you're openly endorsing a man who is racist. What do you not understand? <laughs> really? About that so point? do you endorse do do you endorse grape by voting for a grapist? No, you want to know why no, I said you I was don't? voting wait, for no, no, Trump no. so you wait, wouldn't come, kick me off your come, live wait, so I could expose. Wait, how come you could say how? So you're making the argument that I endorse racism by voting for a man who's made racist comments in the past because I believe he's at the he's the lesser of two evils even in comparison to Trump and his racism. But you're not endorsing great by voting for a rapist. Did you hear what I what? said? You would hear what I said if you would listen. I Go said I it. said I was voting for Trump so you wouldn't boot me off your live. I'm exposing your theory of voting for one candidate and not the other. Who are you voting for? I'm, I don't know if I am voting because I think they're both disgusting. Oh, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and fill you in on something. They are <laughs> both ahead. disgusting, but one is less disgusting than the other one. Do you understand the problem <laughs> with that theory, Dean? Um, I, 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 I think the only problem with the theory is, is that we are forced into the scenario where we have to pick the lesser of two evils, but that's not because of Biden or Trump. That's because we exist in a nation where we have to choose between these two parties, which I also think is deplorable, by the way. I wish that I could vote for a third party. I wish that I could vote for someone else who is better than both of these people. But unfortunately, we don't have a nation that upholds rank-based voting. Okay. And that's why we need to start talking to our local representatives and pushing for this, get it in the media, get it to be popular. So like hopefully our children can both not be forced into voting between two shitty fucking dudes. It's like, yeah, I want to be able to vote for some Jill Stein. Oh my God. Pro Palestine feminist as fuck. I love her. But would you vote, I can't would you vote, vote for her? Would you vote for Camilla Harris if, if she was on the ticket? 
I don't know enough about her. You, so if, if, if but I'm going go to go ahead and move on to the next guest. No, just no, no, no. You're not voting for Trump. Uh, if you're voting for Trump, hop in the guest request. Let's go and see what our next guest here has to say. Uh, I mean, you know, they thought they ate. <laughs> they didn't. I, yeah, like, dude, I, I think that he, the only, he did raise a good point there. We are forced into voting for some deplorable people because we only have two choices and we got to cast our vote for the lesser of two evils. But see, the thing is, is I recognize that a lot of people won't. What's going on? How do you? I am a millennial. Awesome. Are you voting for Trump? I am not. Um, I am voting for Jill Stein. Uh, and uh, if somebody like you could have her on your platform, which she would come and answer questions, she's getting a lot of traction on TikTok. People are, I know. People are uh, inviting her to their lives. Kelly, I appreciate you for coming up. Jill Stein is great, but she's not going to win. I know. It sucks, Kelly. I look, I'm only looking to talk to people that are uh, like MAGA, though. I, it, it really does suck, though. Wait, what's going on? How do you? All right, they're not here. We're going to go to move on to our next guest. Guys, if you're MAGA, make sure to let me know in that chat. We're just looking for some debates here. Additionally, if you want to support me, my Venmo, uh, my Venmo as well as my uh, Cash App are in that bio. Hey, what's going on? How do you? What's going on, Dean? What's up? You, you sound of age. You voting for Trump? You know what I am? I'm actually going to vote for Donald Trump. Okay, why so? Well, there's a couple of reasons why, and I think what I'd like not to do is get into some of the political matters, but um, just looking at what's happening in Gaza, for example, that's a big one. I know that Biden's administration made it very clear that they no longer wanted to supply weapons that were being used over there because they were. So that's kind of a big one for me because like you are against the genocide. So am I, um, then why I would you be voting like for Trump? the economy is right now, but well, one after second, let's seeing talk CNN, about that. if you're against the genocide, they believed in a poll that was taken right hey, after wild card, the debate that I Trump was winning. A hey, wild card. I got it respectfully. I got to cut you off there to talk about that first point. If you were against the genocide in Gaza, then you'd be voting for Biden. Like Trump has made it very clear that he is the most pro-Israel president that we've ever seen. He has said that Israel needs to finish what they started. Um, and even on the debate stage, Biden was making disgusting comments about his support for Israel. But you know what Trump did? He bent back and said that he was more in support of Israel than Biden was. Trump made a point out of that on the debate stage. So I get a question. Are you virtue signaling and trying to use the genocide in Gaza to justify your vote for Trump when in all reality, he proclaims himself as the most pro-Israel president that we've ever had? Or do you legitimately condemn the genocide <laughs> in Gaza and now you will be voting for Joe Biden? Okay, so I can, I can answer that question. I wish you wouldn't attempt to frame conversations the way that you do because you have a really good voice. Um, like Jalen, Jalen came on and made a really good argument. But here's, here's my answer to your question. The reason why I'm voting for Trump is because when he was running things, we weren't bombing kids. Okay. That's Whoa, under, that, that's, that's, a, that's, that's a under, that's, that's under, a, look at Gaza. Lie. Was that that's happening a, in Gaza under Trump? Oh, that was not happening in Gaza under Trump. Okay. So now it's, now it's happening. Mm -hmm. And now look at the Ukraine. There, there's children that are being unalived over there. All I of mean, these we, things that are happening, make it clear. not yes, happening. Yes, under, under Trump's meeting. presidency, we were bombing kids in Syria. Also, and Trump was wasn't convicted in a civil court of rape. He was convicted of something different. You don't get convicted in a civil court for a criminal offense. So he was convicted of sexual assault. I'm just, I wanted to make that clear. Okay, so he was convicted of sexual assault, which we colloquially refer to. He was not convicted of sexual assault. Yes, he was. Well, let's he look at the actual liable. documentation he was, he because there's a check mark where it says he was not convicted of rape. He was found, he was found civilly liable. But you've for said that on this live. He I was absolutely, he was absolutely found civilly liable. For sexual, sexual abuse. abuse. Correct. Okay. Sexual abuse. Yep. And, and this is what we colloquially refer to as rape. Okay. But it's no, that's not, not as a matter of law. There are very really? different requirements. So I, I gotta, for I gotta, to be I, 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 we say grape, not like RAP just for TikTok to Fair enough. Gotta, You're right. Okay. I got a, I got a question for you. I mean, I feel it coming, Dean. I know whenever you, <laughs> I feel it coming. Go ahead. I'm listening. Yeah. So if it, if it was the case that some strange man walked up to your mother and unconsentfully put his fingers in, you know, her, her, her private parts, Oof. was your mother graped? Huh? Well, if something like that happened, I would say personally, just to answer your question, I would consider that uh, um, a rape of some kind. Yes, most definitely. Okay. Yeah. That's what Trump did. He's a rapist. Sweet. But I disagree with you because being a civil litigation attorney myself, I can tell you that the burden of proof in a civil case is very small. That's why they went after him in civil court because the there was no is, case in a criminal court. 
Anybody okay. can open a civil case. You can do it against me. You could say I did the same thing to you. You could say I walked by and, and put my hands down your pants. All of this is happening. Meanwhile, there's an election taking place. And this is why all of this is going on. And the public sees it now, Dean. It's not about Trump anymore. And I'm going to tell you the same thing that Jalen said. I would rather not vote for either of these guys. I seriously wouldn't. But when I look at what's happening, I see that our political systems being weaponized. It absolutely is. I'm not saying that because I heard it's Trump say it. I'm saying that because I see it happening and it's scary. Now, if we had people like you who have the power and the voice to make the difference that you do, and I believe you will, you and Chris, I think, are probably the best examples of good leadership for youth, then we have a chance. But we need to stop backing Biden, man, because that is not the way to go, for sure. Okay, I hear you. So the reason that they pursued um, you know, litigation in the civil court instead of a conviction in a criminal court wasn't because they didn't have insufficient evidence it was because the statute of limitations had passed they would have been of they were unable to convict trump in a criminal court for the grape of eugene carroll 1996 because the law didn't allow them to and that's why they didn't pursue criminal charges and then and i have heard that argument but do you mind if i, do you mind if I finish? i'm, I'm letting you finish i'm letting i'm letting you finish here you got to let me finish as well Right. I think it's deplorable that you're going to come up here and say that, well, oh, the standard of proof isn't high enough. No, it's what's most likely to have occurred. That's what they had to demonstrate onto the jury. And the, and the jury decided that they did indeed, indeed demonstrate that as being true. Then another point for you to say that this isn't grape is gross as all hell. No. When a man right walks up to a woman with any part of his body and inconsensually inserts it into her that right there sir is fucking grape and for you to say that that is wrong is gross disgusting and deplorable for you to have to contort your version of reality to fit the narrative that trump isn't as bad of a guy as he truly is and mm -hmm. and you risk the the and, and you risk the the sanctity of women you say that this isn't grape no this is gross sir I can't I like, dude, come well, on. I, I'm not saying it is not that that what you stated as a potential instance wouldn't be considered, but I'm saying as an attorney, yes, you did. Yes. You, as, as an, an attorney, attorney, Dean, you're wrong. It wasn't grape. He was convicted. It wasn't as a matter abuse. of law. He because graped, if it was Eugene rape, Carol, it would be convicted in a criminal court. A criminal they, district court handles they that it, because they rape is punishable by okay, a prison. Can sentence. you stop saying that? You have to say grape. I'm oh, dude, grape. If you, if you say RIP one more time, I got to kick you. You're going to get me a flat. That I understand. So do you understand? Do you understand? I just hope to see. I hope that you Wild understand card, also Jalen's comment. Want, Wildcard, do you understand the fact that they couldn't convict him in a criminal court because of the statute of limitations had passed? Also, do you understand? No, because the fact that's why Bill Cosby was able to after years. That's it. It was not the statute of limitations that stood by. There was some argument there. The issue is that the burden of proof is far less in a civil setting than it is in a criminal court. They didn't have the evidence to establish that such a thing had occurred. Now, there was in that specific state a statute of limitations. But in this case, that wasn't the real argument. The argument was what she made in a civil court setting and no, all you're the just, attention that was just, being placed on it in the beginning wild card. of you're a just lying. to an election period. You're, you're just lying. That's what all this was about. Uh, sir, with all due respect, you're just lying. You're lying. Okay. You it can was say that, but that's, we'll let the public decide. No, no, and no, they've no, already decided. He's wait, also no. got, Hey, sir, before we pivot here, I want to make it like very clear that your line, it was the, I, I disagree with you. I respect wait, your wait, opinion. Well, I have, I have a question. Why do you disagree? Well, I disagree because the law disagrees with you. Oh, no, the law doesn't. Nope. The law, the law does that disagree there was a with statute you. statute of limitations in which they could not pursue co uh, criminal charges against Donald J. Trump for the grape of Eugene Carroll. Absolutely. Well, I, I, I respectfully disagree with you because I understand how civil litigation works. How could you disagree? Anybody, okay, I, look, I'm just okay, saying, would you, you want could me to seriously the legislation take, you could go you? against me in civil court. You could file an allegation against me. And because, you know, you have a following, let's say if you were president, if Dean, if you were running for president, so many people would be paying attention to whatever civil suit you had against anyone. You, you made a comment in here about how I mean, I'm trying, to, I'm, trying to get Amber, I'm trying to get Amber in here. Uh, Amber, if you're watching, uh, hop in those guest requests and message me back because I mean, this this is just a lie. Like this is it's not it's not a lie. Ask her if, if the if the uh, burden of proof in a civil setting is far less than in a criminal one, and she's Wait, going do you to under, she's do you going understand to say that, that's the case. Do you understand that the differences in the burden of proof doesn't account for the fact that the statute of limitations had passed? Like okay, I understand but, when we're talking about a criminal court. One second, let me, let me finish talking here. 
Like in, in a criminal court, you have to prove beyond a, beyond a shadow of a doubt. Uh, and, then in a, and then in a civil court of law, you just have to show that this is what is most likely to have occurred. Right? I'm recognizing this is true, uh, but this isn't the reason that they pursued uh, civil charges in comparison to criminal charges. The reason they didn't pursue criminal charges is because they literally couldn't have pursued criminal charges. Like, uh, even, like let, I mean, let's imagine that there was a video of Trump graping Eugene Carroll, okay? Right, they still couldn't have found him criminally convicted for grape because the statute of limitations had passed. That's just that's that's just the truth of the matter, quite frankly. Like I, I don't even like, I don't know where to go from there. Like if they had a video of Yo. Trump graping Eugene Carroll, he still could have not been uh, criminally convicted of grape because of the statute of limitations. Okay, let's let's take a look at this entire debate about whether or not he's guilty of that. The only thing that really does matter, I guess, in terms of what we can prove now is that he wasn't convicted of criminal rape in a civil court. Dude, can you, dude, can you stop saying R.A.? Well, you got to kick me now. I forgot about that. But thank you for having me up. I'll let it. No, I don't want you to run from this. I'll let it slide one more time. I'm not running from you, Dean. I would have no reason to run from you. I think you're a very intelligent kid, but you're you're misinformed on some things. I think you think you know a lot and some things you do. But some things you really don't know what you're oh, talking about. Okay, yeah. You, you so, get, I mean, Jalen okay. puts you in your place and then you kicked him. Okay, so Jalen. Like actually, Harry. Like Harry was talking all yeah, about still, Biden was doing good and it didn't work out for him, did it? Okay. So I don't so, think that. So I'm going to do myself a favor. I'm going to leave you, your life so you can bring someone else up. All right? No, cool. wild card. I don't want you to. Look at that. We got a runner chat. I, I mean, look, that's what they do. So they try to gaslight everyone watching into thinking that they're not running um so, because they don't want to embarrass themselves yet he got he got destroyed quite frankly he's a track star he's a runner he just said oh you got shit on the dips <laughs> let's get some baby bottles in the chat for the runner let's get let's get some runner emojis down there ladies and gentlemen i mean come on guys it's abundantly clear it is abundantly clear guys uh, I, I wild card. I wish you wouldn't have run. I, I really wish that you wouldn't have ran. I thought that we were having a great conversation. I mean, unfortunate that we had a runner. We're going to go and bring up our next guest, AJ. We had a runner, ladies and gentlemen. We had a runner. I'm yeah, so he, he was definitely a runner. I appreciate you for recognizing yeah. that, AJ. Hey, are you MAGA? Yes, I am. Oh, look at that. A Trump yep. supporter, a MAGA man, recognizing that that last guest was a runner. I like you a little bit, AJ. So I got a question. Why are you voting for Trump? Well, all I know is Sleepy Joe um, hasn't really done anything for the country. Um, and we can, we can bring out statistics. I'm, I, I know people say, down. well, uh, you're just saying that, but we can bring out statistics. We can sit on here for hours and bring out the statistics. He hasn't really done anything. Um, <clears throat> you know, people had a lot to say about Trump and, oh, he's this, he's racist, he's this and that. I could care less. You know, I, I care about the administration and how the country is being ran while you're under that administration. So I think, you know, people need to look at what what's going on, you know, when these people are in office. That way, you know, we can cut out the bullshit because Sleepy Joe just hasn't done nothing. I'm sorry. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I apologize if you voted I mean, for him, but he hasn't hey, done just, anything. Just to hop in here, you're absolutely wrong. Uh, Sleepy Joe, as you like to put it, has passed some of the biggest legislation that we've seen in modern history. We're looking at the Infrastructure Bill. We're looking at the Inflation Reduction Act. We're looking at the CHIPS Act. We're looking at the PACT Act. This man has done a lot for us. Um, okay, but, but just to clarify here, you said the reason that you're voting for Trump is because Biden hasn't done anything for the country. This makes the implication that Trump has. So my question to you is, can you name one policy that Trump passed that benefited the average working class American, sir? Yeah, but uh, before I get to that, uh, you, you brought up. Yeah, yeah, I, no, I, I am. But before it, but because you, you, you listed off a bunch of things that Joe has done. But if we really look at the facts, these are things that were already in place. And he just kind of picked up on while he was in office. So he didn't technically say, hey, let's tackle this and let's tackle that. Like we have to put it in context when we're talking about what people has actually done, because these so things were specifically said, in place. No, I was I, I was saying what, what you just brought up. You said what Sleepy Joe has done. Yeah, I so, mentioned the Inflation Reduction Act, the CHIPS Act, the PACT Act, and the inflation and, and the infrastructure bill. Okay, Can you okay demonstrate so wait, wait, to me how it, one second. Can you yes, demonstrate sir. to me how any of those things were merely in place and he didn't really do anything? What I mean by in place, if you if you look at those laws, this is what I'm saying. If you look at those laws, and I'm glad you're on your computer, uh, you can see that these laws have 
tried to be introduced prior. You know, you see what I'm saying? The, 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 these things were trying <laughs> to get passed. Oh my God, dude! Amazing point. Ten out of ten. That's right. Trump tried to get an infrastructure bill passed for. Four yeah, that's years what ago. I was saying. Like, Sir, I'm not trying talk, to say he's not doing anything. I'm speaking, you get a mute. Trump tried to to pass an infrastructure bill for four years, and what did he do? He failed. And he left. AJ's a runner. I'm going to go ahead and continue my point. Trump failed. F-A-I-L-E-D. Four years. Couldn't get it done. Biden, Big Daddy Joe, got it done in the first year, sir. Deplorable. And if we want to talk about inheritance of policy, let's talk about inheritance of economy. Just like Trump inherited Obama's. I mean outstanding we are having guest after guest run from conversation folks this is how it is done amanda thank you for the five dollars on cash app i appreciate you so much for the love let's get some w amandas in that chat massive w amandas if anyone watching the live wants to support me my venmo and my cash app are in my bio i get 100 percent of the proceeds over those platforms you get a notification at the top of my phone screen it is the best way to support me it continues to allow me to do what i'm doing we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next guest here we are embarrassing these trump supporters all day long everyone vote for biden vote for biden vote for biden don't vote for the grapist don't vote for the felon don't vote for the election denier good lord we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next guest here uh let's go and get our next guest up in the up in the queue everyone just kind of give us a moment let's go ahead and see what our next guest has to say what's going on how do you hi how are you i'm all right how oh, you're obviously of age are you voting for trump am i obviously what you're of age uh, are you voting for trump yeah i'm 37 um okay uh, yes, I will be per- voting for pro- for Trump. However, Kirk, I think do of the five dollars on Venmo. Listen, I do want to disclose that uh, RFK would be my uh, person. I would like to vote for the most. Yeah, I got it. So, why are you voting for Trump, ma'am? And you, as you think, RFK. Okay, Saffron, I do apologize. You got to move on to the next guest. You have a connection issue there. You're cutting out. Chelsea, thank you so much for the $5 on Vimo. I appreciate you so much for the love. W Chelsea, let's get some W Chelsea's in that chat for the $5 on Vimo. Chelsea, you're awesome. I appreciate you so much for the love. W Chelsea, everyone. Uh, What's going on, Kay? How old are you? I'm 26. Are you voting for Trump? Yes, I am. Okay, why so? So, um, aside from, I've been watching your live for like the past hour <laughs> and aside, I want to say for one, you're, you're extremely smart, educated. I definitely appreciate what you're doing, point you're trying to make. Uh, I don't want to get into some of the topics that some people were just cause they can get pretty ugly and everybody has their own opinion. But, um, the main reason, and I'm probably going to get a lot of backlash for this, but the main reason I'm voting for Trump, uh, has a lot to do with the border crisis. Um, personally, uh, Joanna, and I, don't I appreciate you for the $3 on cash app. Thank you for the love. Uh, sorry for interrupting you continue. No, no, you're fine. Um, I don't know if, you know, numbers have changed since I've the last article that I've read, but from what I um, know and believe to be true, there's been about five and a half million illegal, uh, border crossings since, you know, Biden's has, has the idea to have open borders. And I, I personally, uh, I just don't, I don't agree with that. Um, you know, I, I feel horrible for what's happening in, in, you know, Mexico. I don't, I mean, God, if I could save all those little, you know, little kiddos over there that, that need help and need a better life and bring them over here, I, I totally would. But there's a process for that. And I just think that the open borders concept will do nothing but bring. Okay, we don't have an open border. Can you name the policy that Biden passed that opened the border? And uh, yo, uh, Malika, thank you for the $20 on Cash App. Let's get a W Malika in that chat for the $20. Thank you so much. Malika says from the DNC. Guys, the DNC paycheck has came through. Let's get a W Malika, a W DNC for the $20. The paycheck, it didn't bounce, ladies and gentlemen. We can continue the live. The DNC has paid me for today. Go ahead and continue. <laughs> No, you're fine. So, um, I mean, I'm just going to jump right out and say it. I, I'm not 100% educated on, on articles and specifics. You know, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not here to front on anybody. You know what I mean? 
But I'm just going based off of what I see and watch and hear and the research I do on my own. And for my presumption, when Biden became president almost immediately, he was all for, you know, opening the borders and having everybody just come over here freely. And the uh, no, I want to I just want to clarify here. You're wrong. Uh, we have never had open borders. Uh, but just to clarify here, I think Biden put it perfectly in his debate with Trump. Trump's border policy was harmful. It, was, it would separate children from their parents, put them in cages. It was gross. So they won. Biden appealed that and then started the works of a bipartisan border bill that better served the immigrants coming into the country. OK, and not to mention that when this was figured out, Biden tried to propose two border bills to the, to, the, to the House, right? Trump called up the Republican lawmakers, told them to vote against the bill because it quote unquote made the Democrats look good. Uh, when Trump was able to make both of these bills ultimately fail, um, well, then what, what happened is Biden passed executive orders and now we're seeing less crossings than we saw at the end of Trump's term, okay? Uh, I mean, ultimately speaking, Biden is the only one right now trying to do something about the border, crosser, cr uh, about the, about the border crisis. Trump is the one calling the people in Congress, telling them to vote against the bills uh, for political reasons because it quote unquote makes the Democrats look good. I, I mean, it, it, it's evidently clear. I mean, who we should vote be voting for. Gotcha. Yeah, no, I, I definitely hear your side. I, I, I understand where you're coming from. Um, I'm going to just move on to the next topic real quick, and it's probably uh, going to be my last one. Um, in and this is kind of besides besides the point, but I mean, watching the debate, I mean, do you, like, and I'm just going to ask you, like, do you really believe that Biden is mentally capable of running another term? Like, I mean, just, it, just, you know, aside from all the, the politicals, I mean, m mentally, he's, it, it seems yeah. like he doesn't even know how to walk himself off the stage anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah. A couple things here. So I, I understand what you're saying, but I, but I think that Biden's more than mentally capable of running. I mean, the day after uh, the debates where we saw him in North Carolina speaking beautifully. We saw him at the State of the Union speaking beautifully. He had a cold during the debate. I won't lie, it made him look bad. Trump had more passion. Trump had more, uh, um, whoa, uh, I just got called something crazy on Cash App. Someone just requested $25 and called me a stupid ass inward. That is crazy. Anyways here, Trump had more passion. Trump had more emotion. Uh, Trump looked like more of a leader. Trump uh, was controlling the conversation. I could admit all these things, but at the end of the day, I'm going to vote for the man with a good policy over the grapus. I'm going I'm to vote for the man that had a cold over the man that has 34 felonies on the record uh, because ultimately speaking, Trump is a liar, uh, chronic one at best, lies and lies and lies. Trump wasn't responding to the question time and time and time again. Uh, Trump uh, you know, was using the debate to just perpetuate his narrative that Biden's a bad person on the basis of conjecture and comparison to telling us what he's going to do for the American people. People. Um, and ultimately speaking, Biden destroyed Trump with the facts. Um, but unfortunately, Biden did look terrible. And I will absolutely admit that. I don't think it was just at this recent debate, though. I mean, I think it's been I mean, there was a, a video clip and I don't remember exactly where it was from, but it was recent. Petra, where... thank you for the five dollars on Cash App. I appreciate you for the love, Petra. W. Petra in the chat. I apologize for cutting you off. Go ahead. No, you're fine. Um, Keep I don't remember where it was, but there was a, there's a video clip that's been circulating around. Uh, I know it's on YouTube. I'm not sure if it's been shared anywhere else, but I mean, o Obama literally has to walk up to him and, and tap him on the shoulder and guide him off the stage because Biden's literally staring off into space like he forgot where he was. I mean, I don't think that was a cold. <laughs> you know what I mean? And there's been multiple, multiple occasions of him just seemingly being lost. Like he, he, he just totally, and I'm not saying he has dementia. I mean, I've seen a lot of people speculating that, but I'm not going to say that because, you know, nobody knows really except for him and, you know, his family and who are behind closed doors with. But yeah, can you name in a my opinion, I mean, there's definitely something does. going on with him. Oh, oh, listen, well, I'm, I'm, making that, it, I'm, I'm making it clear here. Listen, I understand what you're saying. I don't think that Biden is fit for presidency. I just simply think he's more fit than Trump. And, and, that, and, that's the end of the, and that's the end of the question, okay? Point blank, period. Biden is not fit for the Oval Office, but he's more fit than Trump. Because, yeah, he didn't look that good on the debate stage. Uh, but, you know, he has good policy. He had the facts. He, he is not... Uh, Heather, thank you so much for the $20 on Cash App. Let's get a W Heather in that chat for the $20 on Cash App. Thank you so much for the love, Heather. Massive W Heather, ladies and gentlemen. Massive W Heather. Another $20 from the DNC. Appreciate you for the love. Um, you know, like, I mean, he's, he's not a grapist. He didn't say that he dated a 10 year old girl in 10 years. He didn't say that the only thing he has in common with his daughter is sex. I mean, while she said real estate and golf, you know, he doesn't have civil litigation against him, uh, for an equal, um, 
uh, Allison, thank you for the dollar on Venmo for an equal for granting an equal opportunity to white people in comparison to black people for housing. Uh, I mean, he doesn't have 34 felonies. He's not an election denier. He doesn't, you know, inspire like fringe conspiracy that decreases the American general public's trust um, and, and you know, in electoral and civil processes. Uh, Biden is ultimately better for the country. And I want to talk about that policy for a second. Can you name one policy that Trump signed into law that benefited the average working class American? Off the top of my head, no, I cannot. Okay, so see what I mean here? We are going to vote for president because of how that president is going to impact our day-to-day -day life, of what that president is going to do for us. And that president does stuff for us and impacts our day-to-day -day life through policy, through executive order, not by looking kind of ill on a stage in a debate, okay? So that's what we need my, to be see my thing, on. My thing is in, I mean, I totally agree with what you're saying. I wish there was a third party to vote for. As many people I've heard, you know, have said, I wish there it didn't even have to be a choice between Trump and Biden. Because if there was another choice, I don't even care who that person is. I'd vote for for them over, you know, either one. But the point is that, like, I would rather vote somebody who I feel confident could carry out their whole term. I, I mean, it concerns me. I mean, just speculate. God forbid, you know, two years. Say Biden gets reelected, and two years in to the term, I mean. Say he Bro, does. Trump, have is, seven, some type Trump of is 79. Trump is 79. But listen, no, 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 you, know, you're not giving I'm me not good talking. reason here. Dude, okay, okay. okay. You want to focus on character, okay? You don't know about the policy. Petra, thank you for the $5 on Cash App. And Sharon, I'm, I'm thank focusing. you so much for the $11 on Venmo. I appreciate I'm, you for the love, Sharon. Thank you so much. And Jesse, thank you for the $10 on Venmo. W, Sharon, and W, Jesse. I appreciate you guys so much for the love. Let's get some W's all around. Honestly, dude, this is okay. You don't want to talk about policy. You don't want to talk about what they're going to yeah, do. For us. You just I, talk about the character. Okay, stop cutting I've... me off. Point blank period. Let me finish. Thank you. Uh, I, I appreciate it. I'm, I'm tired of like having to like speak up and just continue. I just want to finish a sentence. Thank you. Um, like ultimately, let's talk about character. Do we want the guy who looks a little sleepier or do we want the grapist? Well, I don't think it's about the way he looks necessarily. I think it's about the way he, he speaks, the way he, you know, I, I just... I don't know. You were about to say acts. Yes, the way they act. The, the way the rapist, they act. The way the they, I mean, felon, in, in all honesty, the election seems... denier, the fraudster, the, 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 this a man who is unconstitutional, right? Doubting and making tens of millions of Americans over a four year span not trust our civil and electoral processes. Let's, if you want to talk about character, I mean, Trump goes in the bin, bro. I understand that you're setting up here saying, oh, he looks a little sleepy. Oh, he looks a little old. He's not a felon. He's not a great No, no, it, it, it has nothing to do with the age. I mean, shit, Trump's old too. I, I totally, it has nothing to do with the age. It has everything to do with will the president be able to carry out a term in his right mental state to think for himself, not the vice president thinking for him, not you know, X, Y, and Z thinking for him and just, you know, treating him like a puppet. Hey, say this. Hey, do this. Hey, we should sign this. Like, that's kind of what it's Wait, getting to. Wait, can you give me any evidence not... that Biden is, like, controlled by his administration? There, there's no evidence, but it's apparent okay, so to, it's a, so to it's a, fringe conspiracy a lot of theory, people. Is what you're saying. No, it no, no. is, yeah. It how, is. How, I'm, I'm not is, here It's to, a fringe you know... conspiracy. So you're, so you're, you're self-admitting that you're going to be voting for a president in, in 2024 on the basis of a fringe conspiracy theory? Uh, no, I, I'm voting for a president in 2024 based off of character and ability okay, so, to okay. carry out his job. So term. based off of character. So once again, I want you to say it out loud. Say that you are that you would prefer uh, the grapist over the guy that looks old. Say that out loud. Um, I, I wouldn't say over the guy that looks old. I, 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 but I will say I would definitely prefer to vote for the grapist over the guy that you know doesn't seem to give a shit about America. To be honest with you. I'm yes, so sorry. How could you possibly say that Trump gives a shit about America when he, he when he people when don't he, like Trump? K K K K K. How could you possibly say that Trump gives a shit about America when he wants to vote for legislation that is unconstitutional by nature, saying that he wants to make it federally illegal for people to burn the American flag when this violates our First Amendment right to freedom of expression and freedom of protest? How can you say that Trump cares about America when he introduced a tax plan that decreases the after-tax income for the average working-class American while increasing it for the top one percent, literally taking money from poor people and giving it to rich? people? People? How can you say that Trump gives a fuck about America when he just, you know, had a baby fit with narcissism and raged when he lost the 2020 election? So on the basis of no facts, no proof, no evidence said that it was rigged and made tens of millions of people have distrust in our electoral and civil processes, presenting a real threat to the state of our democracy. How could you say that this man gives a fuck about America when we start talking about things such as Project 2025? And I have a question. If he didn't care enough about E. Jean Carroll to literally grape her in 1996, uh, how could you say that he would give a fuck? about you how could you say that he'd give a fuck about me he doesn't he gives a fuck about power 
point blank period. But isn't that really all of politics, all the government? I mean, it, it's it all is. about power it, regardless. It is, but of it's more so office. true in Trump than Biden because while all of these politicians may have financial reasons uh, to make it about power uh, and, and you know and you know put themselves in the limelight, no, Trump has personal reasons. He is a flaming narcissist. Alejandro, I appreciate you for the five dollars on Cash App. Thank you so much for the love. Let's get a W Alejandro in the chat. Thank you so much. Massive W Alejandro, y'all. Well, you know, you make some good points. I'm not here to shut you down either. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm a mom. I have four children. Okay, I do, and I love my kids more than anything in the world. Mommy. And I just can. Ne- I, I don't feel like I could ever, ever support a person, no matter who they are or what they look like or their capabilities, that would be willing to allow an abortion in the ninth, the ninth month of pregnancy. That's another big kicker for me. Okay, well, first of all here, I just want to make it incredibly clear that this is also true of Trump and the way in which he would like it to be delegated to the states because it is the case that a state could pass a nation, uh, sorry, a state, statewide legislation allowing for abortion in the third trimester. And he specifically said that he would not vote for a federal ban. Well, you know... I guess each to their own. No, no, no. I wouldn't literally saying here is like we understand that if like Roe v. Wade is reconstituted, it's possible in some states that like lethal abortions are going to be um, like permissible in the third trimester. However, it's also true of the powers delegated to the state, and he will not sign a federal ban, which he's came out and said he wouldn't. It is true that a state could pass legislation allowing it in the third trimester. So, um, we actually don't see any difference in this regard. Gotcha. Well, and uh, my last point. And, and I'm just going to say, because I see a lot of people in the comments, you know, saying, oh, you have kids and you're supporting a rapist. I Sick in rapist. no way support the act of any type of rapist. I'm sorry. Any type of sexual assault or I mean, and that's that's from, you know, my personal life experiences. And, and I, I've been in situations that were horrid like that, you know, and I I'm not here to say oh, I'm wanting to vote for him because he is a rapist or oh because he did this or that okay okay really you're not on it, you know, with all due respect you're you are voting for a rapist but you're talking to me not the chat do you have anything else that you want to go over about trump yeah i mean my, my point is that you know we weren't there when it happened so nobody really knows whether or not this happened for a fact so so everybody talking about oh he's a rapist he's a rapist like were you there no you weren't i wasn't there the only people that were there was Trump and her. So how, I mean, how, we're going off of speculation here as well. Everybody is, that's calling him that because nobody was there. I mean, it's, it's the same concept. You know what I mean? There, there's no, we're going off of what other people are telling us. This is, this is crazy. This is crazy. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, look at Kay on the live saying that we don't really know because she wasn't there. This rhetoric, this rhetoric shames victims. This rhetoric hurts victims this I've rhetoric victim is why we K, one second i'm still i'm still speaking this rhetoric is why we live in a world that upholds grape culture and shames and legitimately demeans women okay i want to make that incredibly clear but i want to see how far you're willing to go you have kids let's say they need to be babysitted would you allow a babysitter that has found been found civilly liable for grape to to, to babysit them hell no wait why not I wouldn't why not? You weren't there. If, so if, you if wanted- there was, if they were charged in a in a criminal court of law, I know I would not allow. But Trump was not convicted in a criminal I found court civ- of law. So I just, no, I, so I asked you if you'd allow a babysitter that's found civilly liable of great to babysit your kids, and you said hell no. So why would you let a man that was found civilly liable of great I'm sorry, to be responsible? I don't mean civilly. Oh, well, so yeah, so if a babysitter was found civilly liable for rape of a woman, would you let them babysit your children? No, I wouldn't. Okay, so then why would you let them run the country? I mean, our country allows felons to run the country, so who's really retarded here? Oh, dude. They slurred. We're going to go to move on to our next guest. They, they slurred. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to move on here. Do you apologize for the use of slurs? Wow. Gross, guys. Gross. We're going to go to move on to our next guest. Uh, there, there it goes. Uh, guys, make sure that we're double tapping away on that phone screen. Let's try to get up to 500,000 likes, guys. Uh, make sure that we're double tapping here. And if you want to support... Hello. Me, 
What's up, Cade? In one second. If you want to support me, my Venmo as well as my Cash App or my bio, I get 100% of the proceeds you hear from me? these platforms. You know, hey, Cade, and I sure do. Are you, are, how old are you? 18. Perfect. Are you voting for Trump? Yeah. Okay, why so? Let, let's flip it around. Why are you voting for Joe Biden? Why am I voting for Joe Biden? Uh, he's, yeah. he's not been found civilly liable of grape. He's not a proven fraudster, not a proven election denier. Uh, he has good policy, the Inflation Reduction Act, PAX Act, Chips, uh, Chips Act, uh, you know, uh, infrastructure bill. Uh, I mean, do we need to talk about it? So why are you voting you, for Trump? How do you know, how you know Trump's done any of that? Because he was, he was proven in court. Did you see it? Did I see the, the court documents? Yeah, I did. Where? Was you at the what? court? No, it's online. Yeah, it's probably all fake as hell, just like all Joe Biden <laughs> shit, too. Yeah, hey, Caden, do you think that the 2020 election was rigged? Oh, 100%. Okay, so you don't think that a court determining that Trump is a grapist is sufficient evidence to say that Trump is a grapist. Uh, you hold a very high evidentiary standard for what you believe in here. So just out of curiosity, what's the evidence that the election was rigged? There is none, just like Trump. So there's no evidence that the election was rigged, but you believe that the election was rigged. And there's so much evidence that Trump. Oh, there was. There, Carol. Was dead pe- there was people that's been dead for years getting thank you for our, thank you for your vote. OK, can you show this to me? <sighs> can you show me Trump being a rapist? Say, say grapist, not R-A-P-I-S-T. It's just to talk to us. Yeah, I, yeah, I can. You, you, got, look- you, got a, you got a video proof of it? No, no, I don't exactly. have video proof of it. Exactly. Oh, so if there's not video proof, it didn't happen. Hey, Caden, are you a Christian? Yeah. Can you show me video proof of Jesus resurrecting from the dead? Nah, I can show you him helping lives, though. <laughs> so then how do you know Jesus resurrected from the dead? <laughs> oh, he saved me. He saved me. You Go, know, to, church. Go to church. You'll find out. I dude, we I'm not talk, even. I'm not even going to press you on about religion. That, though. Right now, we're I, talking yeah. about the presidents. I'm not. I'm not going to run you through the ring around religion. Uh, you don't deserve that. Henock, thank you. you for the five dollars on Cash App. I appreciate you so much for the love. Me. Oh, you're talking. Go for it, bro. I'm. I'm. <laughs> my we're deepest talking about, apologies, sir. We're talking about Trump and Joe Biden right now. We sure are. We sure are. So, hey, what's the evidence that the election in 2020 was rigged, sir? What's the evidence Trump's done all this shit? Um, the, the court convictions. A ruling from a jury of his peers so, and a judge. It's like that picture on your background. Why ain't he behind bars? Because he hasn't been sentenced yet for the criminal charges, um, and you can't put people behind bars for civil liabilities. You could only force them to pay out money. So you think if he'd done all this shit, they're just going to let him run for president again? Uh, they really shouldn't, but yeah, there's no legislation that stops a felon from running for president. Yeah. Exactly. But the, the quick answer is yes. Exactly. Uh, you, like if he'd done all this stuff, actually, they ain't going to let him run for president. No, they, he actually did these things, and they actually are letting him run for president. It's pretty gross. You're going to tell me you think that they would let the president of the United States run for president if he was a sexual abuser and yes. done all this stuff? Yes. How do you think that makes sense? It doesn't make sense. Exactly. So he didn't do none of it, clearly, or he wouldn't be where he's at. Oh, no. It's that the American public is irrational as all hell, just like you, Caden. Carolina, thank you for the $10 on Cash App. Thank you so much for the love. I appreciate you so much. Guys, let's get a W Carolina in that comment section one second. Massive W Carolina for the $10 on Cash App. Thank you so much for the love. I mean, Caden, surprisingly, you actually like bring up a good point here. You just are yielding the wrong conclusion. It is deplorable that we have a proven rapist running for president with millions of Americans standing behind him, but this doesn't mean that he's not actually a grapist. It means that the millions of Americans that stand behind him are literal cultists that deny reality uh, and don't have a confluent thought when you know they're engaging in conversation in so far as detailing their reason why they want to vote for Trump. Um, like, so you're what called are we doing me a here? cultist. 
Yes, yes, I yes, Caden, I am. Yeah, because well, you're, you're engaging to loot. You're a cultist. Okay, why am I a cultist? I'll, how about this? You tell me why I'm a cultist, and then I will tell you why you are a cultist. Because you're going for a toddler sniffing son of a bitch that don't even know he's a president. Okay, so so about the toddler sniffing, he was sniffing his granddaughter. It's weird. I could show you a clip of Trump literally uh, touching and kissing a little girl. I could show you a clip of him saying that he'll date a 10-year-old girl in 10 years. I could show you a clip of him saying that the only thing he has in common with his daughter is a sex. Meanwhile, she said real estate and golf. What's wrong with Not him? to mention his civil convictions for grape or his criminal conviction for the 34 felonies. What's worse, sniffing your granddaughter or being a grapist P3 video that says he's going to date a 10-year-old girl in 10 years and says that the only thing he has in common with his daughter is SEX. Meanwhile, she says real estate and golf or going on Sirius XM with Howard Stern and saying that he would walk into the changing room of teenage girls at Miss Teen USA to look at them half naked because he quote unquote owned the place with those same 18 year old girls reporting that there's girls as young as 15 in there. What's wrong with him dating a 10 year old in 10 years? She's going to be 20. If you had a daughter uh, and a man walked up to you and said that he's going to be dating your daughter in 10 years while she was 10, would you find that acceptable? I ain't got a daughter. I don't plan on it. Thank you for not reproducing, Caden. Oh, buddy, you're welcome. Okay, anything else oh, that you what? wanted to go over here? Like there's no, nothing different than that, than my kid coming up to me and being like a faggot or something. I mean. Yeah, dude, oh my fucking God, you're so gross. Dude, Oh, I, I'm wow. Okay. See, when I'm when I'm running the when I'm running the lesbian topic, I I'm like mentally prepared for the homophobia, but I was I was not at all right there. Uh, yeah, we just got to kick him out real quick. I, I'm sorry, guys. Holy shit! I could like mentally prepare for that when I'm like asking people why they think it's wrong to be a lesbian. I wow, that caught me off guard. I'm really sorry for Zeus' slurs, guys. Uh, what's up, knowledge? How do you? Okay, knowledge is it? Knowledge is it here? We're gonna to go to move on to our next guest, uh, guys. If you want to support me, uh, my Venmo as well as my as well as my uh, Cash App or my bio, I appreciate you all for the love that you've shown on there today. Also, guys, make sure to drop a follow, guys. If you're enjoying the content, drop that follow. We're gonna to go to move on to our next guest. These people spamming WK in the chat. That's crazy. Uh, what's going on, OBS? How do you? Eighteen. Perfect. What year were you born in? That's, that's Why do you want to know that? <laughs> because I don't think you're actually 18. We're going to go to move on to our next guest. Everyone just kind of give us a moment. Let's go to get Jacob Terry up in the box here, y'all. If you're MAGA, let me know in chat. What's going on, Jacob? How do you? I am 18. Perfect. What year are you born in, man? <sighs> Fuck, bro. I am not in the mental capacity to... Okay, if you can't tell me what year you're born in, you probably want to be willing to have a debate. Uh, we're going to go to move on to our next guest here. Everyone just kind of give us a moment. Everyone, let's go to see what Tuck has to say. Just give us a moment, guys. What's going on? How do you? Uh, 18. What year are you born in? 2004. Okay, so you actually can't be 18 to be born in 2004, Tuck. You got the year wrong. Um, we're going to go to move on to our next guest here. Everyone just allow us a minute here. Uh, yeah, guys, the numbers are doing great today. Um, numbers are doing great today. 18, 2004. God, I, wow. What a, what a great day we're having here, folks. What a, what a great day we're having here, folks. Amazing. Amazing. We're going to, we're going to go to move on to our next guest here. Everyone just kind of give us a moment to get our next guest in here. What's I don't care on? how old you think I am. You don't even believe in God. Get your okay. Uh, we have a fetus screaming about Jesus. Um, you know, yesterday I had a fetus screaming about Jesus. Um, I left him up and then I just planted the seeds. So he'll become an atheist in five years. It's great. Hey, what's going on, mommy? <laughs> yeah, well, that's, fuck. Okay. I, what else can I, okay. I'm gonna call you Thrasher. Oh, what's up Thrasher? Are you, are you voting for Trump? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. Why so? Hey, um, Michael, I appreciate you for the $10 on cash app. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you so, so much for the $10. Michael. Question, why are you some voting? Michael in the chat. So quick question. Why are you voting for someone that's brain dead? <laughs> okay, so brain death is an irreversible system.